in this video let us see about uh, first topic is uh, related to environment that is uh, sea weeds sea weeds often form dense growth on rocky shores or accumulation in the shallow waters many show a well established zonation along the margins of the seas where the depth of the water is only 50 meters or less the type of sea uh, sea weed growing near the high water mark where the plants are often exposed to air differs from those growing at lower levels where there is a little or little little or no exposure brown algae found as sea weed include kelps and fucus they are widely distributed in colder zones and are absent from tropical waters uh, the kelps are among the largest algae uh, sp- uh, certain species of m- macrocystis nereocystis ne- uh, of the pacific and antarctic region exceeds 33 meters in length laminaria and other kelp is abundant along both the pacific and atlantic oceans coast uh, gulf weeds that is sargassum is common as free floating masses in the gulf stream and sargosa sea next topic that we are moving into is related to green crackers in october 2018 supreme court allowed the bursting of low emission cracks relaxing the complete ban issued in 2017 Uh, such green ca- crackers are uh, researched and developed by scientists at C- uh, CSIR NERI as per the court's decision green crackers have a small shell size compared to traditional crackers they are produced using a less harmful raw materials and have additives which reduce the emission by suppressing dust currently fire ind- firework industry in india is pegged at 1800 crore per annum okay csir has assigned signed agreement with 230 companies to manufacture the crackers and make them available for sale green crackers don't contain banned chemicals such as lithium arsenic barium and lead uh, they are called safe water releases safe thermite cracker and safe minim- minimal aluminium crackers green crackers release water vapor and do not allow the dust particle to rise they are designed to have 30% less particulate matter uh, pol- pollution uh, next topic that we are moving into is related to stubble burning what is stubble burning why the farmers opt for stubble burning means they have no alternatives for utilizing uh, utilizing the waste effectively uh, especially they don't have ill uh, e- equipments um, to deal with the waste because they can, can't afford the new technologies that is available to handle the waste material with less income due to crop damage and farmers are likely to incline to the light up their field to cost to cut the cost and not spend much on the scientific way of stubble methods stubble burning methods uh, stubble management okay the effect of stubble burning open stubble burning uh, releases large amount of toxic pollutants into the atmosphere which contains harmful gases like methane carbon monoxide volatile organic compound and carcinogenic polycyclic aromatic uh, hydrocarbons they may uh, uh, eventually cause a smog uh, soil fertility uh, burning husk on ground destroys the nutrient level in the soil and making them less fertile heat penetration heat generated by stubble burning penetrates into the soil leading to the losses of moisture and also useful microbes this is what happened during stubble burning the next topic that we are moving into is related to global methane pledge global methane pledge was launched in un cop 26 climate conference in glasgow It is an effort led by US and European Union. So far over 90 countries have signed this pledge. Methane is a major contributor to global warming. The contribution to global uh, warming of the globe in uh, degree Celsius is high uh, for um, uh, carbon dioxide. Um, uh, and, and then uh, next uh, next level is methane. Next um, higher next um, highest is uh, highest is carbon dioxide um, in a, in uh, decreasing order next one is methane next one is volatile organic compound next one is halogenated gases next one is uh, black carbon and the least is um, nitrous oxide and abiation contrails okay about global methane pledge it is um, uh, it is uh, all about uh, 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 with an aim of uh, uh, aim of the agreement is to, uh, agreement is to cut down the methane emission by uh, 30% uh, from 2020 level 
by the year of 2030 level okay uh, the pledge was first announced in september by us and european union and essentially an agreement to reduce the global methane emission the pledge was um, uh, according to the latest uh, um, report uh, of ipcc intergovernmental panel on climate change report methane accounts for about 1 degree celsius net rise in the global average temperature since the pre industrial era uh, okay this is what the topic is all about the next topic is related to leopard leopard india's population increased to 12852 in 2018 compared to around only 8000 in the year of 2014 the environmental ministry um, said uh, the also minister was uh, releasing the status of leopard in uh, india 2018 report the minister asserted that the rise in the leopard numbers coming on the heels of similar reliance simi- similar reports of tiger and um, a lion shows that the country is producing also protecting uh, its resources like ecology and biodiversity well uh, let us see some of the key points of the report leopard population as estimated using the camera trapping method there are 12852 leopard in india as of 2018 which which is 60 percentage since 2000 increase since 2014 highest concentration of leopard in india is estimated to be in madhya pradesh that is 3421 followed by karnataka that is 1700 1783 followed by maharashtra that is 1690 In India, leopard have experienced possibly human-induced <coughs> population decline that is 75 to 90 percentage in in, uh, in the last 20 120 to 200 years. Indian in Indian subcontinent, poaching, uh, habitat loss, um, depletion of natural prey, pre- <coughs> conflict are the major threats to the leopard population. All these have resulted in changing the species status from. Uh, near threatened to vulnerable by IUCN. As for the region, uh, region-wise distribution, the highest number is eight thousand seven seventy-one leopards found in the central India, that is, uh, and eastern Ghats, which includes the state of Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Telangana, and Andhra Pradesh. Uh, in western Ghat region, which comprises Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Goa, Kerala, there are only three thousand three hundred and eighty-seven leopards. Uh. That's all. If you like the video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.